In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how you can take an object that you create with the Shape Designer and use it in conjunction with the Motion Tracker. This is a brand new tool that's just been made available for users of PowerDirector 18 Ultimate or PowerDirector 365. It's just been released and so we'd like to give you a preview of what it can do. What I have on the screen is a clip of a vehicle on a beach. And so what we'd like to do is motion track it, but we also want to at the same time use something we create inside the shape designer. So what I need to do first of all is create my shape object. So I go to the pip room, which is my third icon down from the left. I can press the F5 key for the shortcut. And here are some shapes that I've created already. I'm going to create a brand new one, so I want to click at the very top on the icon of the circle, triangle, and rectangle. That gets me into my shape designer. Once I'm there, I can pick any kind of shape I want. I think I'll take the one that's rectangle with rounded corners. We'll make a few changes to it. I'll change the size of it. And we have tutorials on all the features I'm about to show you. So I'm going to go a little faster than normal since we already have it. I'm going to click on the fill and go from a uniform color to a two color gradient. We'll take begin with and let's pick something that's more of a darker blue. And I'll click on the end with and we'll take something that's maybe a lighter blue and click on OK. And I want to change a couple other things. Let's take the outline. I don't want a blue outline. I want a black one. So I'll click on that, change the color to black, and we'll change the size of the outline back down to one. And let's give it a little bit of a shadow. I'm going to turn on the shadow properties. We'll change the shadow color. I think I'll use a darker gray. And then we'll change the distance. We'll make it so it's just slightly noticeable here. And we'll also add on to the blur. Next thing I want to do is obviously put some text on it. So in my text area, I'll just say Beach Fun. And I think it would look nicer if it were a white color as opposed to black. So we'll simply change that one. And now I have my object that I've created. There are other things we can do and we have tutorials on that. But it, this is kind of a quick way to look at the capabilities of your designer. So I'll take my Shape Designer and I'll click on OK. It wants to save it. I'll call this My Beach and click on OK. So now we're going to go back to our main area where we have our media room. And I have my clip on track number one. I'm going to click on that and highlight it. And then I'm going to choose Tools above my timelines and then choose Motion Tracker. So now we're going to Motion Track uh, some of what's on the screen. We'll take a part of the vehicle. I'm going to make this smaller. I'll use maybe the upper area, area of the window. We'll track that. And now we're going to click on the part that allows us to add a PIP object. That's the middle button on the left. And this is where we have this new combination tool. Import media, media Clip was there, but when I click on it now, I can import from the Video Overlay Room. So I'll click on that. Here's all of my content. If I click on the down arrow, that will let me pick my custom content, which includes my brand new My Beach. I'll click on that and then choose OK. Now there's my icon that I just created, my label, if you will called Beach Fun. We'll take and we'll move it relative to the tracking. Put it just below that. We can adjust the effect of the distance track from the object or the size. We'll leave it like that for now and just, just click on Track. And then we'll stop it there. Then click on OK when we're done. What it does is it places that PIP object on the lower track and then it keyframes it all along the course of my video. 
and you can go in and change it later if you want. So let's click back on movie mode and play our movie. And now we see that we have our object that we created working in conjunction with the motion tracking in CyberLink PowerDirector. So that's a way to integrate those two tools, the Shape Designer and the Motion Tracker, in the most recent version of CyberLink PowerDirector.